Right, hi everyone. Welcome to another episode on me Rover P6. Um, today, as I didn't know what I was going to do at the end of the last episode, today what I am going to do is remove the rear axle. Right, so from what I understand, under here there's a couple of bolts that mount it and what else have we got to undo? Right, well, we need to undo this cross member here. So that's a bolt at each end there. Top of the shock absorber mounts. Need to undo the handbrake cable and the flexi for the hydraulics on the brakes. I think that's about it from what I can make out yeah I'm going to drop it out in one bit I was going to take the wheels off but I think I'm going to leave the wheels on it for a minute and then once it's out then I'll strip it down into some smaller pieces probably start using the inside of the car as a van which isn't ideal but I have nowhere else to put the bits Although some of these bits are going to be a bit grubby, so I'm not sure about that. But I'll find something to lay down in, in there or something and put it on. But yeah, and get that out, and then I can start stripping the seam sealer off up underneath and finish the welding off. Yeah, and I did notice as well that obviously I've got to repair this block jacking point whatever you want to call it and I did wonder about the holes but googling it they don't they don't have holes so I'm guessing well I'm pretty sure now that it's where it had a tow bar fitted because if you look in here which is probably too dark there's a hole down there like a drill hole not a rust hole for a change and there's a couple of holes down there as well so I definitely think it's had a tow bar on it at some point so we'll weld all them holes up as well. Yeah, I've been been to my local motor factors this morning and picked up a sheet of steel as well because I need some long pieces to repair this back. I was hoping I'd have enough, but I've only got some small bits of steel left now. So, right, yeah, so anyway, uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. What I'm going to do is try and mount the camera on my head mount and so you can see what I'm doing and see how that works out hopefully you'll actually be able to see something but I'm not sure right anyway catch you in a minute I obviously what I didn't say is that I'll need to disconnect these as well but that kind of goes without saying I suppose but yeah I just thought of that <laughs> uh, this side's this side's already been undone anyway where I've done a welding repair inside the boot. But I'm gonna give some of the I'm gonna give all the bolts a bit of a spray up and then come back to it in a minute. Right, won't be long. Right, I'm not sure what you're going to be able to see, but I'm going to start by undoing these little cover plates. I'm not sure whether, I don't know. Hopefully, you can see. See, they just pop out of the way just so we can get to the bolts down there, see? The same with this one. I'm not going to undo them bolts yet because first we need to undo the brake pipe and the handbrake cable. So we'll go under there now and do that now. Right, so I'm not sure what you can see. 
probably nothing. Try to take them out of the way so these are not slapping in the way. You probably see there that the um, I took the brake pads out the other week because I needed to roll it and move it about, and I couldn't. Because the caliper seized a little bit, maybe the pads are just stuck on. All right, so undo the pipe here. I could cut it once again because I've got new pipes, but I don't think it's probably running the right place anyway. Probably should be on there. It doesn't actually look that old, this pipe. And it's a slot anyway, so it's really easy. Right, so that's the brake pipe undone. You're always better off if you have got the calipers out. You're joining the pipes together on the calipers because you can't even see them. They're like right up behind, which is what I'll be doing after I've rebuilt them. Which hopefully I'll show that as well at some point. But. Right, so now I've got to work out how this one does. I can see a couple of screws in there, but I have took one off a long time ago, but I can't remember how they're actually held on. Oh, don't want to lose the bits. A little ring and a screw. Is it a pin? Does the pin push through? I don't know, it's going to be the other one anyway. I'm hoping I'm getting this on camera, but... I'll put them in my tub in a minute with the other screws. But That's that unhooked. Hopefully you saw that. Yes, yeah, so that's good. <sighs> right. That's that and that undone. So I think next be to undo the shocks. The shock absorbers. Let's go and have a look. Right, so the shocks are inside. Obviously behind your seat, if you've got a seat, which I haven't. I have no idea. They're quite new shocks, so I can't imagine it would be too tight. He says, and then it looks quite rusty. That oh, I don't know if you can see, but the whole thing's turning, so I have to try and get a pair of grips on the top of it. I didn't spray them up, so Let's see if we can find some spray. I have got some. Oh, there we go. That'll do. The bat. Be on the other one. I'm surprised how rusty it is, considering it's inside. And the fact they're quite new shocks. That's a bit bizarre. Maybe they're not as new as I thought. Hmm. You get something on that as well, don't we? Right, see if we can find a pair of grips.
I think once it cracks off it'll be alright. See if I go now. It doesn't feel very good. I can only just about get the spanner on it. Got to try not to swear now. Bizarre. I presume that is the top of top of the shocks. It's not around, is it? Well, that's definitely the top of the shock absorbers. I'm not going to film all this because this is being a pain. I'll get it to loosen off a bit and I'll be back. Right, so what it appears someone's done is used a half nut on this side for some bizarre reason. So what I managed to do is get the grips on that and try to turn. It's not easy. Really not ideal, but I'm not too worried about chewing the nut up. I don't just don't want to damage the thread on the shock absorber because, like I said, they're quite new. But it is turning now. Hopefully, I've got to move a bit. It might. Maybe I can get the spanner on there now. No. So of. So I've made a rod pigs here putting this on. And it should take a couple of minutes. It's now being a right pig. Going though, I suppose really I should put the jack under the wheel or something. It is coming. Right, I'm not going to film all of this. I'm going to get this one undone and then I'm going to get the other one off as well. But it's really not very exciting, is it? Watching me struggling trying to undo one stupid nut. Right. Back in a bit. Right, so I finally got that one out. That was an absolute nightmare. It's not a half nut though, it is a full nut. It just been pulled right down into the washer. For some reason, I don't know why someone felt the need to do it that tight, but I don't know whether they're the original washers or whether they're like aftermarket ones that come with the shops. I'm not sure. Yeah, right. right. So we go to the other side now. I've already had that side turning, so hopefully it'll be alright. Chop me bits in with the pot.
well it's getting no idea what you can see but if it's nothing then you ain't going to hear me talking now anyway see they haven't pulled this one in as tight so there's like I don't know, bizarre some people eh tight now that's not good oh. such a simple job and such pain oh. that's going tight now let's try and go back the other way God's sake. put some meat on it but I really don't want it because it, because of where it is right I'll turn the camera off again I'm gonna get that off and then I'll be back all right so I've got that one out as you can see I've got my Ugga Dugga done it in the end I was gonna say my windy gun but it's got no wind does it but yeah so at least that's out now so next probably going to undo these bars oh yeah of course I've still got to undo I've got to undo that bar I've got to level off I've got to undo this bar as well we need to pull the pin out out there hopefully you can see and then I'll leave this in non hopefully for now all this has all got to come off be cleaned up paint it up make it look all pretty oh what fun it's much more of a pain than what I thought it was going to be. Oh, it take half hour to pop this out. Never mind, it's all good. At least you can all see what I'm doing. Hopefully. Right, back in a minute. Right, so it might be a bit awkward to see this, but hopefully it picks it up on the camera. I can pull this split pin out. Hopefully. I don't know how many years this may have been in it. Probably be going to be a total pain by the rest. How the rest of the morning's been going so far, but let's see. God, that's tight. I think that's been in there a long time. Oh, 
Jesus. Um, might have to cut this off. seeing anything here. Oh, make enough huffing and puffing. It's coming. That's it, and it's off. Oh, that was a bit tight. Right, get a lever bar or something. Disconnect that. I don't quite know what it's got on there from there to there, but I'm sure there's a reason. <coughs> Couldn't find last week. Hopefully that will be. Yeah, I've got new all, all new rubbers and stuff to go on here anyway. They're not actually too bad, but still being changed. Good why wouldn't you? Thing is, we're taking it apart now. Is it is going to make it easier for for running repairs and stuff in the future? Because if the stuff's been off before, in theory, I should be able to get it off again. Right, let's do that washer. I'll chuck the split pin in the tin, not that I need it, but. Yeah, right, so next. Yeah, next is these bars. Get these two bars off each side. Well, one bar each side. And then we should be ready to drop it out, I think. Right, a bit more squirty. As I forgot to squirt them earlier. And I'll be back. Right, so now we get the control arm unbolted. Whatever you want to call them. Yeah. 
So that was noisy. Oh. One more now. Alright, you can see that's dropped off. That in there. Hopefully I can reach the other side just about. Like I said earlier, that one's already been off. About 20 videos ago. Alright, that's them off. So, alright. Now be where it starts to get sketchy. Origin originally I was gonna use my trolley under it, but my plans changed and now my trolley's got the V8 on it. So I'm just gonna put the trolley jack under the diff gently just to hold the weight. And then we'll undo the front member and then the rear member and just lower it down gently to the floor we hope so we've got these two and the two front ones and that should be it I will have a quick check around though just to make sure there's no wires or anything attached I don't think there is because these for the brake pad wires aren't connected up underneath so that's probably the only thing that would be joined to it but I will double check right let's do that then Right, so I'm up underneath now, starting to undo this cross member, which is a bit of a pain because you can't, I can't get a ring spanner on the nut, and the bolt goes through this way. But it does seem to have moved. I'm just hoping that the bolt isn't seized in the bush now, but I'm not sure yet. <coughs> I'm doing so at least it's not stuck in the bush Still on the gun.
slightly awkward. I can't really see what I'm doing. Oh, I think there's too much weight on it. I'm going to move the trolley jack forward slightly for a minute. Just to take the weight because it might have some differential. But That's it, that's that one out. Alright, so now we need to go around the other side and do the same again. Alright, go for a slightly different angle this time. doing something yeah that's what I'm doing so that's good And it's not seed, so that's good as well. Maybe it's a bit tighter than I thought. Oh, yeah, it is. That's that one nearly out. Yeah. 
and this out. Go for it. Well, now I'm guessing if I let this jack down a bit, it's probably going to drop there. So I'll let it down a bit and then I'll get it up on the diff. The jack, that is. Hopefully I don't destroy the camera. down a long way doesn't it? Right, so like I said, that's that bit drop down. So as you can see, it's all lowered down now. Everything's disconnected, I hope. Right, so now it's just the two inside of them covers in the boot. And that's it, then we can lower it down a bit. It's a bit sketchy on that jack, but that'll be okay. Or it won't, we'll find out in a minute. Alright, I'll just put it down here for a minute. Then we've got these two bolts to undo here. And then it'll either lower down nicely or fall off one or the other. What size have we got? They're 11 sixteenths. Most of them are 11 sixteenths to be honest. 11 sixteenths and 9 sixteenths. 5 8. Don't look like they're going to be too hard to undo, so let's have a go. Are they nuts and bolts then? I guess they are. Realise that it would appear that they're nuts, there's a nut and bolt going for it. Just have a look underneath. Oh, yeah, that's going to be fun, isn't it? Hopefully I can jam a spanner in underneath because my arms aren't like that. I haven't got Mr. Tickle arms.
And the Spanish funnel. Let's go around that way. I'm going to do this with a ratchet. Hopefully if I do have a ratchet then my gun won't. And it's easier to jam the spanner in there. Whereas my gun's just rattling it off. Get underneath and jam the spanner on the other one now. That's the other one out. Right, so in theory it should all lower out now. He says, hopefully. Right, I'm going to give it a go. Right, let's see if this... Oh, move the light out of the way. Let's see if this will lower out now. Hopefully without too much hassle. There goes woo, the springs. Right, that's it. It's all down. I think, looking at the height there on the other side, I think if I whip the shocks out of it and get the springs out of the way, then I should be able to just wheel it out. Yeah, good. Good job. I'm trying to remember where all these spaces go. That's going to be good, isn't it? Right, excellent. Right, so there it is, all pulled out on the floor now. Uh, I think I'm going to call it a day on this episode. We feel more than enough. But yeah, at least it's all out anyway, that's the main thing. Right, anyway. Yep, so like I said, right, that one will call it for this episode. Um, next time probably just going to strip the axle down and then once that's stripped down obviously it'll give me a bit more space because it's going to take up too much room in one bit um, yeah right well thanks for watching and hope you like hope you enjoyed this episode uh, if you haven't already hit the like and subscribe button and yeah I'll catch you next time take it easy one thing I've had been meaning to mention as well is like when you jack your Rover P6 up, I mean obviously I've got it on axle stands on these 
on the, on the pins on the original jacking points but I really wouldn't recommend that unless you're absolutely certain of the condition of like your seals and your inner seals but obviously I've spent months welding this thing up so I know how strong this car is now but trust me if it was a rusty old one I wouldn't be doing it like that but but yeah just something to bear in mind people <laughs>